Hey folks, this is Peter from Bikes and Life and I'm here at the Roosevelt Island Tramway. So you can see that we're in a little bit of a snowstorm, but I've got the Faraday Porter S here. And this is one of the coolest new electric bikes that we have at Bikes and Life. You can see it's just really gorgeous, really well designed and well made. And uh, what I want to do is uh, take it down and uh, go for a little ride and tell you a little bit about it. Now the Faraday Porter is actually one of the lightest electric bikes on the market which is one of the reasons why you're able to easily carry it up and down steps and uh, pick it up to put it inside your car. Because the motor is a little bit less powerful than some of the super fancy, uh, you know, high powered electric bikes out there, it doesn't require as big a battery, which also makes it, you know, a lot lighter. So you can see we're down here uh, on the streets on 2nd Avenue and we're gonna go ahead and just turn this bike on. So the way you do that is by tapping this button right here just tap it once, the blue light comes on, and then the red lights are gonna come on. It works as a backlight and also as a way of uh, kind of indicating that the bike is on. You also get a pretty cool front light up here, which is very bright. This is attached directly to the uh, handlebar on the stem, so it's a nice integrated design, and it is really quite bright. So now you should be able to see how the display is like black over here and white over here. So you can always see it when there's light on it, but it doesn't put out any light on its own. So it's again, it's all about subtlety. It's all about looks and design and aesthetic with the Porter. Well, I've shown you a little bit about uh, how the bike works. Now let's take it out for its uh, maiden voyage on the streets of New York. This model called the Porter S has a five-speed Sturmy Archer internal gear hub. And what that means is that all the gears are contained inside the rear wheel, uh, which keeps them safe from uh, moisture or snow. But the way that you shift is just by twisting a little twist shifter on your handlebar here. So if I twist one way, it's an easy gear. If I twist another way, it's a faster gear. The Faraday uses a torque sensor that's built right into the bottom bracket. And what that means is that as you're pedaling, it actually knows that you're pedaling because it can sense it right in the pedals. So if you take a look down here, you can see this bottom bracket area, it's kind of big. So the pedaling pressure is sensed right down here in the bottom bracket area. And then it tells the motor to go based on the settings that are in the controller and on the handlebar. So in that way, it becomes very simple and very intuitive to ride the Faraday. You literally just pedal and it does everything else for you. The Faraday Porter actually cruises right along at 20 miles an hour, which is great because you can keep up pretty well in traffic, you can climb hills, you can get through an intersection. Now, I'm finding that I don't actually use that assist as much as I thought I would because the bike just rides really well. And so when I get to an intersection or someplace that I want to get through quick, I can flip on that power boost and just get right through it. So check out the Faraday Porter more at bikesandlife.com. You can also check it out in our Worcester store and our Georgia store. We have the bikes for test riding, both the Porter and the Porter S, but uh, hey, thanks for coming along for a ride with me. Thanks for braving the cold, and uh, I hope you're excited for a beautiful summer this 2016. So we'll see you there at Bikes and Life. Take care and have fun.